time and money. When it comes to business, it's really about those two things. So you've been shopping for a service and along with asking how much it'll cost, you've been asking how long it'll take. And more and more businesses have been coming back to you and telling you, well, it's not really about hours, it's about points, story points. And you have to check the number. You feel like you've called the wrong place because that doesn't make a lick of sense. So whether you're a customer who's been hearing about points or you're a business who's getting into the agile process and wants to know a little bit more, it all comes down to one central question. What's a story point? Story points are a comparative measurement of effort required for performing a task. We're gonna need a little more than that. So unlike hours, story points don't take into account the skill level, the experience with that type of work, even the mood the person's in that day or week. Um, story points are based solely on the complexity of a task. So a task that takes two points, it takes double the amount of effort to get done than a one point. And subsequently, a one point takes one third the amount of effort as a three point. Now, it's not just pick and choose any number. The numbers work in a Fibonacci sequence. Now, don't run away yet. I know that seems like it's getting more technical and crazy, but really the only reason for this is because all of these numbers relate to each other. And when it becomes really larger with the size of the task and the amount of points, it becomes really impractical and inaccurate to try to just guess how many points something will take. So when it gets that fine, you need numbers that relate to each other. Like we said earlier, two being double the amount is one. All these numbers, they relate to each other. But that's still too much. Let's break this down. Let's break it down like this. You have a house with a bunch of 10 by 10 walls that need to be painted. So you go to company A. Company A, they use hours. Now they come out, they survey. The guy who's there that day says, ah, it should probably take about a half hour per wall. Let's extrapolate, there's your price. Well, now when the time comes, they send out the guy who it takes him about 45 minutes per wall. So he's cutting corners to make sure it gets done. And they never really had a set baseline. They just threw it into the wind and whoever showed up had to meet that exact amount of hours to get it done. You should have went with company B. They do story points. So what that means is they agreed that every wall is 10 by 10, like they are. So that's their baseline. It's one point to paint a 10 by 10 wall. Now, one of the walls has a big window in it. It has trim, it has a light switch. So all those things need to be taped around, paint it with care, replace the light switch when you're done. That takes double the amount of effort as the first one. So that wall is two points. So what they do is they extrapolate they give you exactly what it takes and it's gonna take 25 points. Okay, 25 points, not bad. But what does that mean? The customers still want a deadline. They still wanna know when they can expect to receive something that they've paid for. But businesses that use the agile process, like Company B Painting here, they have an intuitive timetable based on all the past projects that they've done and they know how many points they can handle in a work week. This company can happen to handle 25. So all of the house painting, it'll be done in one week. Now, some can even break it down more than that. And let's say this company can handle five points a day. So if they go through and they know a project is gonna take 50 points, they know this can be delivered in 10 days. So now that we know a little bit more about what points are and why they may be more beneficial than ours, let's talk about the main benefits. So number one, it's just gonna make for estimates to be that much closer. There are always gonna be estimates, right? But like we said earlier, with the guys maybe not even knowing how long it'll take to paint certain walls and then not knowing the differences between walls, estimations are gonna be that much closer because we have a baseline and we just go based on the amount of effort and it uses the Fibonacci sequence, which again, may be a little too in depth, but it just lets you know that everything is relative. So estimates on projects, going to be that much closer. Number two is there's no time to fill. So if it was said it was going to take two hours to paint the wall, you can bet they're going to take all two of those hours to paint that wall because that's what was said. Whereas in points, they're just going to get it done because there's no actual time to fill so they don't have to drag tasks out. Number three is points aren't going to change based on the skill level. So at the beginning of the process, everyone got together and they agreed this wall was one point, this wall was two points. So it doesn't matter who's on the job, 
hours aren't gonna fluctuate. It's just a two point task and it's gonna get done. Number four is great. You're not gonna get charged for the inefficiency of the workers or the business. They may have said it's gonna take two hours, but it turns out it takes three hours. Now, they have no right to charge you extra for that. See, the team that has a tried and true process, they decided how many points it was gonna take. Now, maybe they were a little wrong, but it's not like they're gonna add any hours to it. They're just gonna get the job done and for their next project, they'll know to adjust. Maybe that really is a three point task and not two, but it has nothing to do with you and the price that you paid. Number five, it allows the customer to focus solely on the value and outcome of the project. Now this brings us full circle, like we said, time and money is what it's all about. So they don't wanna hear about hour adjustments. They don't wanna know that a different guy came in and well, it takes him longer to do the job, so we have to adjust. No, see, value and outcome is all they want. And if you have a tried and true process like StoryPoints, the only story is gonna be about how successful the business is.